Everybody pays attention, no one gets hurt. Go! Open the door! I'm making the call. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Uh, now look around. We just keep driving where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This was a repo job. That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. Michael coerces Franklin using a firearm, which may or may not have been purchased legally, but we can say for sure it's being used illegally here. Also, there's property damage for the window. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit. Well, hey, wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Man! Oh, hell yeah, homie. You know what time it is. Are you fucking serious? Pulling down the deck would obviously constitute as property destruction, which Martin Madrazo helpfully told us would cost $2.5 million to repair. We can also add on reckless endangerment as he pulled down the deck while multiple people were on it. Computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Oh! Ah. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... no, 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 no. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah. Plus, we're taking you out of here. Hey! No! Hey! Shit, hey, cool, Daddy. man! Hey, what are you doing? Oh, oh, hey! Ah. Watch, man! I like that! What's the problem? Catch a lung full of buck. This guy's getting in a van and call 911. We could. Yes, Michael was under the orders of FIB agents, but they were corrupt agents who were doing these missions off the books for their own self-interests, and Michael knew that. Does this mean that he gets off the hook because he was being blackmailed? No, it's still illegal, and the court would say he should have gone to the police. So anything he does for these two FIB agents will still be counted as crimes. Now hold on a minute, it's the holidays, and I'm happy to announce that we are partnered with Gamersups. One scoop and water, shake, done. Lots of fruity flavors, caffeine or no caffeine, with my favorite being emotional damage. Seriously, the peach and strawberry combination, it's just too good. I have a special Christmas deal for the next 24 hours. If you use my code in the description, you will be sent free samples on us with free shipping, so you can see for yourself if it's the real deal. No car details, just a free try to see if you like it. Thanks for listening, back to the video. Second charge set. They going up! I should be, I would be, if certain known associates weren't busy making themselves enemies of the state. You know, the FIB, Merriweather, IAA, you could fuck with them all day long. But 
When you try and steal an experimental super weapon and sell it to the Chinese, you and everyone you ever knew is gonna be fucked in the ass, you fucking chumps! Hold on, man. A super weapon? The Chinese? What? What'd you think is in there? I thought he talked to you. All right, man. So what now? Well, maybe I can organize to have it taken back and found amongst the wreckage. Later returning an item you stole isn't relevant to the fact the crime was committed. Sanitation aren't meant to be here. Hey man, I got these motherfuckers! Wrinkles? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> oh. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, hey! Look, you can bully him. But you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. One more rock, please. If we hit something at this speed... Oh, God, isn't there a speed limit? Lots of crimes committed here, with there being a strong case of kidnapping here, along with reckless endangerment of not just the passengers, but pedestrians too with the erratic helicopter flying. Does he even have a license to fly? Finally, we have coercion. Hey, we're coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. I'll tell you about that later. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Man, I'm sick of driving so slow staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? Well, you talk a good game. Okay. Just don't scratch the cars. It's not just Grand Theft Auto, but also reckless driving, which would result in a six month license suspension for the drag racing. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what, what are you doing? Uh, 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 I had some really good work there, you dick! Just not my junk, okay? Ow! Ah! Ah, you made me a pouty. Uh, ah! Look, there's. There we go. Nice. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one stop shop. Look, we can work this out. Like men, you know, if you catch my drift. Hey, you're going to put her on your show and you're going to make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! Giving Lazlo the piercings, tattoo, and cutting of his ponytail would all count as a form of assault, with the fine being the cost to remove the tattoo. He also will receive coercion for the threat he made at the end. Look out! 
before we get to the lawyer, let's get the definites out of the way, which is Michael showed a big disregard for life, driving on an active runaway twice, while a plane was taking off and landing. Had his car got hit by the plane, or hit the engine, or something else, he could have caused a tragedy, so he will receive two counts of reckless endangerment. The lawyer is more tricky, since she died running away from Michael, but we don't have proof Michael wanted to kill her, or even hurt her. He only wants to get his movie back. I'm gonna leave it and rule it off as a freak accident, but it could go either way. For the security. The alarm's been tripped. Yeah, no shit. Got it. All right, people, let's get the hell out of here. Bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. Bullshit. Mike, this your frequency. That's our man the end of the walkway. Top of those stairs. Okay. Gentlemen, we got a schedule. Get yeah. Hi. Yeah. Oh. Huh? Get up. Uh, hey, get up. Uh, you tell them something that ain't on the news already. This whole thing was your idea. Yeah. Yeah. I, I understand. Not a word. Exactly. Yeah. I, I was jumped. I, I, I never saw a thing. Go. Two hundred million dollars worth of gold. That's a hefty fine. And the heist was technically armed robbery since the drivers of the vans felt the full threat of it. There's also bribery at the end. Wow, that's a lot of property damage. This will make me the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Now we get to the kills section of the video, and we need to put in some rules, otherwise it will be infinite. With Dark Viper's pacifist percent series as reference, check it out if you haven't already, it's very interesting, we will use it to figure out the kills Michael has to do, regardless of what the player does. The kills Michael has to do are as followed, the guy on the boat, the guy in the IAA tower, Tahir Javan, two of the O'Neill brothers, two of the railway workers, and Devin Weston. There's also gunmen in the graveyard and home invaders, but they're chalked off to self-defense. 